Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this demo, I'm going to showcase how developers simplify data transaction implementation with the Quarkus Server Services to stand up uh, Microsoft SQL Server in a minute. Specifically, Quarkus Live Coding, like a dev mode, automatically stand up dev services, specifically uh, multiple data services. Uh, such as PostSQL, MongoDB, and in this case, we're going to review more focus on SQL Server, how to make it easier for developer to implement data transaction application implementation. Let's get right into the demo. Okay, I'm going to uh, create a new Quarkus application using Quarkus CLI. Uh, as you can see, Quarkus CLI application uh, with the, uh, let's say, the project name Quarkus MS SQL. And I'm going to need to add a few more uh, extensions which I have to use uh, to create the reactive application to communicate a database uh, for uh, CRUD capabilities. So as you can see, the rest is reactive and uh, uh, in order to add the Jackson extension uh, to process consuming and uh, processing your uh, input and output data based on uh, reactive application. And also the other MS SQL client and a reactive panacea, which allows developer to make it easier to communicate uh, the ORM mapping. I'm going to return this command line. It automatically scaffold my Quarkus uh, Maven project. So the few uh, direct uh, just directories created. And then uh, when you change the directory, and then I'm going to start my ID tool to load up uh, this generated project. So here's the VS Code. In the first world, uh, I'm going to go to uh, Java directory and uh, uh, the uh, generate the sample application, hello world. I'm not going to use this one. So first of all, I'm going to need to add uh, the entity uh, Java beans, uh, extend the Panache entity class, uh, which allows this Java bean uh, automatically uh, use a reactive uh, record pattern which means you don't need to add a getter setter uh, the unnecessary uh, Java method to retrieve your uh, field or attribute on your Java application. I just define the one data field like a name and then I just uh, uh, specify constructor explicitly like a fruit uh, to using Panasonic entity and in order to uh, make this Java beans as a database entity I just need to add and the annotation, and I'm going to make it cacheable to make it uh, faster uh, to retrieve on this uh, Java base. Okay, so move on, uh, go to uh, resource file. I'm going to uh, add a new Java path, like an uh, endpoint of fruits, and then uh, make a application scope uh, Java beans. And then I'm going to use uh, just once, I'm going to create just a single Java method, like a list of all to retrieve all data from database. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty simple. The list of all is a predefined Java method from uh, Panache. It automatically uh, retrieve all data from your database. And I'm going to return unit type, which make this Java method a reactive application. So now I'm going to delete unnecessary Java package, import it. It's pretty simple, just list of all. Now I'm going to add one text file here. Uh, to use uh, a dev services, but for that, I'm going to uh, make it uh, available to dev services for SQL Server. So, Quarkus, dev, db kind, MS SQL, you can actually add another database type like a PostSQL, MongoDB, and a MySQL, and etc. So, once you have only one uh, key and value compilation in application properly file, it allows developer to use the dev service when you run uh, Quark's dev mode. And then specifically MS SQL, uh, this is uh, not open source. So we're going to need to add the container license extensions text file to use the dev service in Quark's side. In order to do that, we're going to create the container license acceptance text file and then just edit the uh, which container image you're going to pull down for dev services. As you can see, uh, I'm going to pull the MS SQL image from uh, Microsoft Container Registry here. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all I needed to use dev service for MS SQL Server. 
So now I'm going to create a simple DDL, you know, import SQL file, as an example, the insert into fluid, uh, like ID name, values, uh, for example, a few uh, fluid name like a banana, and an apple, and orange, something like that. Okay, here's I three. I just added three uh, data. I'm just run the Quarkus dev using Quarkus CLI, and then once the Quarkus dev mode is running, and then you can see in the meantime that automatically the MS SQL uh, container image downloaded and they're running automatically. As you can see, initialize dev services for MS SQL Server. Here is the container dashboard. You can see test container and a uh, uh, MS SQL. We just set it up in the context uh, text file. It's automatically downloaded from um, Microsoft Container Registry for dev service in Quarks application. Okay, looks good. And then when you go to a Quarks dev UI. And then they are uh, automatically uh, set it up your configuration based on data services. You can see here types of MS SQL and then here's a password, username to access your database and the reactive URL. And then I'm going to use the drop and create the data generation policy. Okay, so this is all I needed to once again, uh, the Quark is a data source and DB kind with the MS SQL is automatically uh, Quarkus dev mode uh, stands of your dev service for MS SQL. Okay, so let's try to access the endpoint using HTPy command line tools and 8080 flutes, and then you're gonna have three data like a banana orange apple. You can actually change the data out of, uh, in uh, in immediately because this is the Quarkus dev UI. I'm gonna add a new data like a pineapple. And I just save uh, this import SQL file and I go back to uh, endpoint. And then you got to have a new data uh, just like that. It's automatically saved inside the MS SQL database container image. And I'm going to stop uh, the dev mode. It's automatically stop your MS SQL container image on my local machine. It takes some time to uh, scale down and uh, terminate it. So as you can see, all container images. Uh, terminate it and stop it automatically when you stop the Quark's demo. So thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.